Welcome to this new video about Kaui. Today, we're going to explore the Perth Tenant Catalog Configuration screen. In our first video, we have reviewed the login process, the creation of the first tenant, and so we will assume in this video that you have already configured the tenant streaming video in your system. Kill Bill exposes a powerful catalog that not only allows you to define all the products, plans associated with the business, but that also lets you define a set of rules to specify the behavior of the system. An example of such rules is to configure whether the system should generate proration credit upon early cancellation. Our catalog documentation is a good resource to read about rules. Each tenant can have its own catalog, which consists of a set of XML versions the last one being the active version that is used for new subscriptions. And the previous ones are used to ensure that older subscriptions can retain their original attributes. For instance, the original price in the case of a price change. Kaui allows you to upload such XML versions, but for beginners who simply want to get started or businesses with simpler needs, Kaui also provides a simpler interface to create plans. Note that when using this interface, the XML is generated in the backend with a set of default rules and adding new plans does not create the XML version, but instead adds the new entries in the active XML version. Clicking on the plus button will bring you a form that will let you configure your new plan. We will first create a new product called Unlimited Streaming with a monthly billing period and specify a trial length of 7 days. We will then create another product called Limited Streaming with a monthly billing period and specify a trial length of 7 days. Then finally, we will create an add-on called DVD that will only be available for the product Unlimited Streaming. Let's now review the entries in our catalog. First, we can see that we have only one version, and then in that version, we can see our three plans. Note that we could add prices for different currencies by clicking on the currency button on the left. At this point, we can check the full XML has been generated by the system by clicking the Enable XML view. We have the ability to review the XML for each version, but in our case, there is only one. We can see, among other things, in the catalog, the list of product default rules generated by the system and the plans. Using the simple interface is a great way to get started, but for more advanced users who want to change the rules or configure a lot of plans, prices, this can get a bit slow, and so one way to do it is to edit the XML, change it as needed, and then re-upload that XML from the same form where we had configured our plans. I hope this gave you a good overview on how to get started with our tenant-specific catalog configuration. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for additional carry video.